I'm Mance Bill Frazier. I live in the Huff community of Cleveland, Ohio. Huff is a community on the rebound. It's one of Cleveland's oldest communities. It, there was a time at the turn of the 18th century, if you couldn't afford to live in Millionaire's Row, people built homes in Huff. Then there came the Huff riots in the 60s, and a fully a third of Huff was burned down. There's still, there's a lot of vacant lots, yeah. There's a lot of them. I have a mission for social change, so I want to live right in the neighborhood where, where I can do the most good. Well, our vineyard is three quarters of an acre, and it produces a bumper crop of uh, wine grapes. The goal for the area land is to, is to create a, an urban agriculture zone that creates healthy food, creates jobs, and leads to a productive reuse of a land that was an empty, weed, overgrown uh, field. Well, it's wealth building in our community. We employ neighborhood people, but the vineyard actually was built by people that are formerly incarcerated, like myself. Well, what we're adding to it at this point is a bio cellar, which is an underground growing environment. My friend Jean Loria came by to look at the vineyard, and she looked at the house that was sitting next to it and suggested we do a bio cellar. It was her idea. It's all Victorian. It was beyond repair. Some houses can be restored. Some are just too far gone. The house was over 100 years old. The wiring, the plumbing was gone. Uh, it was starting to crumble, so it was cheaper to tear it down. We just left the basement and reconstituted the basement, and now we're getting ready to put the greenhouse roof over. This was really quite the, quite the house. It was beautiful, big, and the, um, the basement, you really, when you walked down here, you knew you were walking into a basement from a long time ago. And a biocellar is actually a high performance building. It will be very efficient for heating and cooling and for, uh, will be off grid for electricity and water. So having this kind of a structure that's stable, that doesn't require heat, we'll be able to grow something all year round in here. There was a home here. The home isn't here. But what we can put is something that is a place for people in the community to assemble and do a different set of activities in a cooperative fashion. What we're trying to do is put together architecture and biology in a social setting. My name is Antonio Johnson. I live, I live right up the street on 79th and Huff. I grew up around this area. Oh, well, actually my friend, uh, he works here also. He told me about the job and he said he hires felons and everything. So I came down here and talked to Mansfield and gave me a job. I learned a lot just from the last couple of months. And when we go back to the bio cellar, I'm gonna learn even more. So my goal is to get it finished to make it look real nice for the neighborhood. Everybody deserves an opportunity to get a slice of the American dream, to have a stable life, to be able to raise their families, be happy, to advance society. This is our way of taking people who might not be able to uh, get that and provide an opportunity whereby they can. We can't, and if we can replicate it, we can stabilize communities throughout the city. That's what I'm good at.